Uh, dear learners, we welcome you to this session on reading across the curriculum. As you must have seen that this is a topic which is taken from the unit one reading of block one of course BESL 121, reading and reflecting on the texts. In this session, I will be discussing content as well as workshop activity on reading across the curriculum. I hope you must have seen the materials of EPC 1, BESL 121, reading and reflecting on the texts. Myself, Dr. Bharti Dogra from School of Education, IGNU, I am coordinating this EPC course on BESL 121, reading and reflecting on the texts. Now, what all you can expect in this session? In this session, we will be discussing, first of all, meaning of reading. What is reading? What do we mean by reading? Then, purpose of reading. Then we will move to process of reading. Reading is not only a skill, reading is a process also. Next, we will move to reading across the curriculum. What do we understand by reading across the curriculum? And finally, the discussion on the workshop activity. Learners, let us move to meaning of reading. Now, along with the slides, I will be asking questions also. And I expect that you be ready for this interactive session. Meaning of reading. Reading is a very complex skill. Now, as you all are aware, in language we have four skills. We have speaking, listening, reading, and writing. Now, speaking and listening, these skills are automatically acquired as we grow up. But that is not the case with reading and writing. We have to make an effort for acquiring these two skills, that is reading and writing. Now, what is reading? As a teacher, we must have experienced, if I revisit my school experience, when I was a student in a school, many times my teacher told me to, the, to do the reading of the text from any textbook. So, at times, I did it as a reading of the, you know, reading without stopping for a second. At times, I have seen students, you know, reading it, pausing for some time, and reading it for meaning making. The learners can read either, you know, in groups, or even individual reading can be done. Even we have seen that students practicing silent reading. So reading is a very, very important skill. So what does it mean? What is actually reading? Reading is an interactive process between the learner and the text. So during interaction, the learner makes out or constructs the meaning of the text. But it is not that simple. When we read a text, how we construct the meaning of the text, it depends on a number of factors. First of all, if I'm reading any concept, if I'm reading any text from a textbook or from any magazine, and I don't have any prior or previous knowledge related to the concepts being covered in the textbook, I may face a difficulty. I may, you know, feel that I am not able to understand the text which is given in the textbook. So, we need to have some kind of prior knowledge if we have to construct the meaning of the text. Then, another important factor is the material which is being covered in the text. Because what happens, we say that every learner, every reader is unique in terms of the 
different characteristics. Similarly, every text material is also unique. Why? Because of its language, because of its vocabulary, because of its uh, presentation style, because of its difficulty level. So we find that every material is unique. Therefore, the, the construction of the meaning depends on the what kind of material a learner or a reader is reading. Another important point is the context in which reading takes place. We all are aware that reading never takes place in vacuum. There is an interaction between the reader and the text. And the learner has some kind of context. Similarly, that piece of writing which you are reading that also has some kind of context. So therefore, the meaning making or the construction of meaning by the, write, by the reader that depends on the socio-economic context of both the learner as well as the piece of writing. Now let us move to the next slide, the purpose of reading. What could be the purpose of reading? If I'm reading something, why am I reading? What is my motive behind it? What are the reasons for reading that piece of text? Now, before discussing the purpose of reading, I would like to discuss here, you know, an activity. Now, I go to a classroom as a teacher and I tell my students that please make a list of the things which you read. So then in that case, I expect a list like this, you know, the textbooks, storybooks, magazines, phone book, hoardings, letters, a number of items may be included in the list. Now, after I receive this list, I tell my students that could you please write the purpose? What is the, you know, basic reason for which you are reading this material? So I might get, you know, an answer. I'm just assuming that the students might say that I am reading this novel, fiction, sto short stories for getting some specific information. Or I could I also, you know, expect another answer that this is for enjoyment, this is for pleasure, this is for passing time. And then non-fiction textbooks, you know, for passing an examination because you have to sit for an exam. And you want to learn the concept so that you can answer the questions in the examination. Then maybe you know you are reading newspaper, journal, magazine for passing time or for knowing details, you are reading the forms, applications and questionnaires, brochures, letters, advertisements, you know, maybe to have an overall idea. So here, then after this, as a teacher, I can tell my students that the, there, here we have a list of the reading materials. Now please tell me that which reading materials you read very fast or you read fast or you read slowly or very slowly. So here now the students they decide that we read different texts at different speeds. Because every text cannot, you cannot read every text at the same speed. So how you know we read the speed, uh, how we uh, read the text whether we read it very fast or we read it very slow, that depends upon the purpose of reading. Now here I want you to revisit, you know, your school days, you all are teachers. So I want you to revisit your school days and just think that what kind of materials you were reading for pleasure, what kind of materials or textbooks you were reading for, uh, for sitting in the uh, examination, or were there other reasons for reading materials? Or there are some materials which I have not included in the list and you would like to, uh, you know, you would like to point out that these are the materials which you were reading. So just, you know, revisit your days. And as teachers also, you must be reading many texts. So please uh, just recall that what all texts you are reading presently and what are the reasons for reading them. Now, after this, I would like to discuss with you, with you it's, this, uh, these, these three purposes of reading, they are given in the, uh, in uh, your EPC1, that is BESL 
121. So, you will find that these three purposes of reading are given in the material also. Let me just uh, discuss the three purposes for reading. The first purpose of reading is that uh, you read, you know, for pleasure. So, you understand that when I am choosing something, you know, I want to read something which gives me happiness, which gives me uh, emotional satisfaction or which gives me the intellectual uh, pleasure. So the, then in that case, the text has to be a text of my choice and it must match with my, with my interest area. So whenever, you know, uh, any reader chooses a text or any material for the purpose of pleasure, then purpose here is to enjoy the reading, to have happiness. So in that case, the text has to be, uh, you know, uh, it has to be of the choice of the reader, something which we enjoy. It could be a novel, it could be a magazine, it could be a fiction that depends upon the reader. Then second purpose of reading is that now we are moving little bit from pleasure to understanding. So when you are reading for the purpose of literal understanding that you want to understand the text. So when I am reading, let me take a text and my purpose is to read it for understanding. So in such a case, I read and I try to answer, you know, various questions. What kind of questions I want to answer? Why? When? What? where and how. So these questions I would like to answer. Now because I am reading this text for the purpose of literal understanding. So in this case, I will try to understand the vocabulary which is given in the text. Not only the vocabulary, the concepts and the content which is covered in the text I will also try to understand that. So for, from the purpose, you know, first purpose of something which I enjoy, which gives me happiness, to second purpose that is for understanding.